It's common with a lot of modern websites to see objects which remain at the same relative position in the browser window, while the actual website content moves up or down as you scroll. We call these sticky objects, and they are usually things like navigation bars, social network icons which link off to sites like Facebook or Twitter, or else some kind of easy-to-find link that you want your users to always have visible and close to hand. To make an object sticky, right-click on it and choose Web Sticky Stretchy from the menu. This will bring up the dialog. Then choose either Sticky or Stick at Top and click OK. If you choose Stick at Top, your object, which in this case is a navigation bar, will scroll up to the top of the browser window and then stick there, with the other page content scrolling underneath, like this. Now for a regular sticky object, position your sticky object where you want it to appear on your browser window. So back in the workspace again, if I want my sticky to appear at the top left of the browser window, then I need to position it here, at the top left corner of the workspace, off the page. If I want it to appear at the top right, then position it at the top right, similarly with bottom, right and centre positions. If you want your sticky to appear at the top half of the actual web page, then the distance between the sticky and the top of the page determines the distance from the top of the browser window in the published page. So if I place my object 20 pixels from the top of the web page, it will be stuck to the browser window always 20 pixels from the top as the main page scrolls beneath it. The same goes for the bottom, so again placing the sticky 20 pixels from the bottom of the page will make it stick 20 pixels from the bottom of the browser window. Use the web preview buttons up here on the toolbar to see how your stickies are going to look before you publish them.